Hi everyone, it's Kim Barber here from Game Logic Design. We are the creators of 40 Publish. Today I'm going to take you through the sculpting based paintbrush for 40 Publish. So, up in 40 Publish, what we have is we have these paintbrushes up here, and these use the sculpting system as its internal way of doing the brushes. And to use that, you'll need to have the studio version or the body paint 3D version of Cinema 4D. If you have broadcast, visualize, or uh, prime editions, you can use this brush here. But today we're going to go over the sculpting based workflow. So I'm going to come up, and the first thing I'm going to do is create myself a model. I'm going to create a female bust. Zoom in on it. And I'm going to bring up the material view here. In the material view, I'm going to scroll down, I'm going to go create a single material. I'm going to make sure I select the background layer of the color channel. Come up to the pre publish menu and choose paint brush. Now I can just start painting on my model. And if you wanted to use any of the options here, like symmetry, we could turn on symmetry, and now we have symmetrical painting. If I want to use stencils or stamps, you can use, use those uh, tabs there, but you can also use the content view up here. And the first time you load the content view, it's going to take a little time to go through all your images, all your libraries, and load little thumbnails in. And when it's ready, you have your thumbnails here, so a single click here will set a stenc uh, stamp. And if you control click, you will get a stencil. So now you have a stencil to paint. And again, all works symmetrically. And you can use the same tools that you have in your sculpting system. You can set all the same settings for symmetry and radial. All your same settings for stencils. And also for stamps, you can set all these options as well. Of particular use, use with the stamp is the follow option. So if we bring up that content view again, and we'll just single click to set a stamp. Maybe something that's a bit more obvious. And if I come in and I turn on the follow option, this will now follow around on the surface there. And it's still working symmetrically as you can see there on the model. Now if you've painted on a model and you've created a seam, as you can see up here there's a seam, you can get rid of that seam by using the material view. You can have your layer selected here and you can right click and you can go bleed. That will bleed just that one layer that you got selected because you might have multiple layers here. You can also bleed all your active layers and alternatively you can come down to your setting here and you can click bleed with a setting value there. If you want to add a new layer you can do so in the material views, click add layer, you get a new layer there, you just select that, and now you can start painting on it. Let's choose a, something different from our content view. Let's control click and use this one as our stencil. So we've got a separate layer there. I'm just holding down the T key to work as a uh, using a stencil as you normally would. And if you want to change the layer's opacity, you can do that here. You can also change its mode here to something different. And you can also hide and show layers directly from this interface as well. If you want to add other channels, you can just click them over here. You can add bump, normal, alpha, glow, all those, and you can paint on layers there. When you have multiple channels uh, on your object, you can still add layers as well. There's a lot of extra options in here. They're all defined in the help system, and they'll also be shown in other videos as well. So that's what we're going to show you today. The main gist of this is that you need to make sure that you use this system for selecting your layers to paint on. Don't select them in body paint, so make sure you select them here, otherwise it may not work on the exact same um, layer that you got selected. 